Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Dial Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended mop. Today I'll be doing a review on the Gemini Jets Condor Airlines Bone 757-300 featuring the blended winglets in their Sunny Heart livery scheme in a 1 200 scale model. I purchased this model from Troy's Toys, whose store is based out of Olin Park, Kansas, and his website is www.troystoysinc.com. But first, allow me to share some information about the history of Condor and how they came into existence, if you would please. Condor Flutjens, branded as Condor, is a German leisure-based airline that was founded on December 21, 1955 as Doha Cha Flutjens and commenced operations on March 29, 1956 with the pilgrimage flight to Israel. The Thanza acquired a majority stake, a 95.5% stake to be exact, in the airline, thus creating its first post-war subsidiary in 1959. Then fast forward to 2000, the Condor shares that were previously held by the Thanza were gradually acquired by Thomas Cook as the process of transforming Condor from the Thanza subsidiary to the Thomas Cook subsidiary along with Thomas Cook Airlines, Thomas Cook Airlines Belgium, and Thomas Cook Airlines Scandinavia actually began with the rebranding as Thomas Cook, powered by Condor in March 1st, 2003, as Condor officially became part of Thomas Cook AG and returned to the Condor brand name on January 23rd, 2004. Condor is currently the second largest commercial airline in Germany after Lufthansa, based in fleet size and passenger flown, as the global headquarters of Condor is located at Gateway Gardens which is located in the Frankfurt, Germany suburb of Hesse, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located nearby on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport, which is located approximately seven and a half miles southwest of central Frankfurt. And the secondary operating bases of Condor Airlines are located at Cologne Bonn Airport, located in Cologne, Germany, Dusseldorf Airport, located in Dusseldorf, Germany, Hamburg Airport, located in Hamburg, Germany, Leipzig Halle Airport located in Skuditz, Germany, Hanover Airport located in Longenhaden, Germany, Munich Airport located in Munich, Germany, and Stuttgart Airport located in Stuttgart, Germany. As of March 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, German leisure airline Condor currently flies to 90 destinations throughout Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and the Caribbean with the operating fleet of 44 aircraft which includes 12 Boeing 757-300s in which the airline has no unfulfilled orders pending on this aircraft at the time of this video review post. Also as of March 2018 or at the time of this video review post, Condor Airlines currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier according to the International Airline Review Firm Skytrax Magazine and the Boeing customer code for Condor Airlines on this particular aircraft is 30. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box you see here, where you see the Gemini 200 engraved gold decal. You see the Condor title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model information, as well as the item number information at the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box with all the Gemini Jets information right there, as well as their Facebook social media page information, as well as the Boeing official license product decal you see there at the back of the box. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the engraved Gemini 200 decal as well as the warning information. And this is the bottom of the box where you see the Gemini engraved 200 decal as well as some more information there at the bottom of the box. Now you're looking at the uh, left side of the box where you see the Gemini 200 decal, the 1200 scale diecast model information, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type as well as the item number on the left side of the box. Now you're looking at the right side of the box, the same information you saw on the left side of the box that I showed you early on, alright? Now you're looking at the front of the box with the box laying down here on the table and the reason I got it at this position is it's a flap right here. Now I'm going to open this flap right here and what you see there, that's what's inside the model, the aircraft itself, the model stand, 
I'm going to take all that out in a minute, but I'm going to let you see some information on the flap. Check it out. Now you look at the information that was inside the flap you see there about this aircraft and how they became a launch customer. I'll get into that momentarily. You can pause and read that if you like. In the meantime, we'll keep this moving, all right? Now you're looking at the uh, packaging out of the box with partial plastic, partial foam. The top part is the pl partial uh, plastic. I'm going to take that off, you see there. Hold on, I'm going to pause for a minute. Hold on. Okay, folks, I had to uh, pause that for a minute because they're a little challenge trying to get that partial plastic out of there. But this is what you see here. You see the model itself and plus the nice little model stand that I'm very impressed with. So with all this, I'm going to take all that out and we can get on to the model review, all right? All right. I took the uh, metal model stand that came with the model out of the box. This is what it looked like. See the little black pad right there. The purpose of that black pad is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched. That's what that black pad in there is for. So now you're looking at this plastic bag. And what's inside this plastic bag are our gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into details for the purpose of these gear replacements on this model, okay? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of uh, Condor Airlines, all the details here on this box right here, plus the packaging right here that's out of the box, plus the metal model stand that came with the model, plus the uh, plastic bag that features the gear replacements on this model. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The Gemini Jets Condor Boeing 757-300 in their sunny part livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. Now let me give you some information how this livery came about. It's kind of unique in my personal opinion. This is the current livery scheme for Condor Airlines which is actually called the Sunny Heart Livery. As this livery was unveiled on October 1st, 2013 in Frankfurt, Germany after the Thomas Cook Group began presenting itself under a unified brand symbol with a brand new corporate identity as a logo which is also called the Sunny Heart, was also added as part of the airline's corporate makeover, which resulted in repainting its aircraft in the new corporate livery scheme colors of gray, yellow, and white. As the essence of the brand new will continue to build up on the already strong brand heritage of the Thomas Cook Group and what it promises to deliver a high-tech, high-touch experience across all customer touch points with the omni-channel approach as the Sunny Heart livery has officially replaced the Globe livery as the airline's official livery scheme. Alright, so with all that information out of the way about the livery here, let's get down to the nitty gritty line and show you all the details on this aircraft. I'll show you. Let's check it out. Okay, we're going to start at the front of the aircraft on the port side. We see the nose gears, the nose gear struts. The nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on the nose gear door, OJ. You see the Peter tubes, the static porch, what have you, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those later on in the review. And then you see that little local, uh, that little logo right underneath the cockpit windows you see displayed here. This is the current logo of the German leisure based airline Condor, which resembles that of a Condor which is the common name for two species of New World Vultures, the Andean Condor and the California Condor, as the name Condor derives from the Cachua Contour, as the Condor is considered the largest flying land bird in the Western Hemisphere. This logo can also be displayed on the wingless as well. Check it out. There. You see there, see the logo inside on the winglet, as well as inside the winglet as well. Check it out. There it is. And it be, you see the logo inside the winglet, wingtip device there as well. Alright, we still at the front of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the Condor title right there. And then you see the Boeing 757 300 decal underneath the Condor title. Okay, if you didn't know, Frankfurt based Condor Airlines actually became the actual launch cover of this aircraft here. 
the Boeing 757-300, becoming the first carrier to acquire this twin-engine aircraft type, which Condor Airlines placed orders for back on September 2, 1996, and received their very first Boeing 757-300 jet liner, which bared the registration ship number D-ABOE on March 10, 1999, and officially entered service on March 19, 1999. At one time, Condor Airlines registered and previously operated as many as 15 Boeing 757-300s in their fleet. And now as of March 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, only 12 remain operating in the Condor fleet. Now you're looking at the edge of the wing here, where you see the inboard landing light that's painted here, okay? Okay, we're still on the port side, but uh, you see these nice little bogey gears here on the uh, port side featuring the landing gear doors there as well. But most important, you see this nice little engine you see displayed there, painted in uh, yellow and gold, what have you, featuring the engine cones. These are the Rolls-Royce RB211-535E4B engines that are used on this particular Condor Airlines Boeing 757-300 jetliner featuring the blended wings. You also see the little warning information detail here on the engine columns right there, which is I find impressive. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around let you see the turbo fan blades. And the turbo fan blades do spin. Now you're looking at the front of the engines. My mistake, they do not spin, okay? But they very detailed and realistic, to say the least, okay? At least you got a better visual of the landing, uh, the inboard landing light, as well as the landing gears here on the port side, the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear door there as well. Now you're looking at the engines on the uh, starboard side. The engine fan blades do not spin over there, which I find disappointing, but it is what it is. But at least you got a, a, a great view of the inboard landing lights, as well as the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side, the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the uh, cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose cone, the nose gears, the nose gear struts, as well as the nose gear lights inside the nose gear doors. So with that said, I'm going to take it back to the uh, port side of the aircraft because there's more information shared with you over there as well. Let's keep it moving. Alright, we're still on the port side of the aircraft. Let's check out this uh, winglet wingtip device you see there that's painted in gray with the uh, airlines logo on there as I showed you earlier featuring the red navigation light these wingtip devices are actually called blended wings and the purpose of these blended wings is to increase total efficiency by reducing vortex interference with laminar airflow near the tip of the wings which enhances the payload range performance resulting in decreased fuel consumption by four to six percent as these blended wings were actually created and designed in 2002 by aviation partners Boeing, whose headquarters is located in Seattle, Washington. However, these blended wings wasn't actually installed on this aircraft until January 2010. Now we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side still. We see the Thomas Cook decal right there. And the Thomas Cook Group is a British global travel company that owns a number of tour operations the booking website hotelsforyou.com as well as airlines including this one that's based in the United Kingdom, Germany, Belgium, and Scandinavia as Condor Airlines is also a subsidiary of this conglomerate whose global headquarters is located in Peterborough, England. Okay. We still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the registration ship number D-ABOJ. Registration ship number D-ABOJ. This is the 8th Boeing 757-300 jetline to enter the Condor fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on February 11, 2000 and was delivered to Condor Airlines on March 13, 2000. Alright. Now we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the nice little gold, silver, and gray cheat line painted right there. But more importantly, that little little logo right here that little sunny heart logo that's played on the tail fin of the aircraft this is the sunny heart logo that was added on the tail has become the official symbol of condor and the thomas cook group as the sunny heart logo on the tail is meant to symbolize the unification of airline brand within the entire thomas cook group 
Okay, now you got to deal with that mobile represents. And then you see the German flag decal on top of the tail fin, which is about right here. And this flag decal represents the country where Commodore Airlines currently operates from as one of the major flag carriers for the country of Germany. And you also see the partial registration ship number on the tail fin in there as well, OJ. Now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft where you see the APU, Auxiliary Power Unit Exhaust, and there's a hole there, very detailed right there. Impressive. As well as the uh, entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The Gemini Jets Condor Boeing 757-300 from the rear view angle. All right, now you look at the aircraft on the starboard side where you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on the nose gear door, OJ. You see the Peter 2 static ports, the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the, the uh, airline's logo, the set Boeing 757-300 decal, the Condor title, the front uh, bulk man door. Now you're looking at the uh, center of the aircraft where you see the inboard land lights on the edge of the wing. The uh, RB211 engines right there and painted in gold. The engine cone including the, uh, the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side including the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the blended wingtip device featuring the airline's logo on that blended wingtip device painted in gray including the green navigation light. Now you're at the back of the aircraft on the starboard side where you see the rear boatman door, the Thomas Cook decal, the registration ship number, including the gold, the silver, and the gray uh, colors on this painted tail, including the Sunny Heart uh, logo. There you see there. Including the uh, German flag decal as well as the partial registration ship number on this uh, gray painted tail. Now, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, I'm going to check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Well, they roll pretty good. Pretty impressive. Okay. It tilts. And the nose gear swivel as well. The nose gear is a little challenged on this aircraft model, but it seems like it's holding up pretty good. But anyway, with that being said, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Uh, we're going to start at the front. You see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. You see the condo tires on both sides. You're looking at the anti-collision beacon light right here. Okay, there. And then you see the high-frequency antenna there. You see the ADF antenna in 3D. See the, the, the gold, the silver, and the gray paint right here. See the, the tail right there. And you see the horizontal stabilizer right there. You see the little two dots right there, as well as over here. Those are the illuminated lights, and the purpose of those illuminated lights is to light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now, let's check out the wings, folks. You got the wing walkway, you got the engines, you got the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoilers, what have you. You also got the fuel dump valve as well as the gray blended wingtip device with the airline's logo there. Same over here. You got the wing walkway. You got the engines. You got the flaps, slats, aileron supporters, what have you. And you got the uh, fuel dump valve right there as well as the airline's logo on this blended wingtip device there as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model where you see the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, the open nose gear door, the nose gear, another high frequency antenna, the Gemini Jets logo, the anti-collision beacon light, the hole where the stand goes in at, another high frequency antenna, and then the APU housing doors right there as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears here. Oh, they tilt, tilt perfect. You see the engines there underneath, flaps, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you. The fuel dump valve as well as the blended wing wingtip device. Let's check over here. 
tilt, perfect. The engine's there, flaps, slats, the aileron spoilers, what have you, as well as the blended wingtip device on this aircraft, on this side here as well. Okay, since I'll show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little metal stand that came with the model. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. All right, finally got this model on the stand. I'm definitely feeling this new model stand Jim and I just came out with. Very impressive. It's holding up pretty good. Better than tripod stands, I can say that much. All right, now you're looking at this model from the takeoff landing position on the uh, port side with the model on the stand. Now you look at the front of the aircraft in the takeoff landing position uh, with the model on the stand there. The nose gear is a little challenged there as you can see there but it's all good. Now you're looking at this model being displayed on the model stand on the starboard side in a takeoff landing position there. And you're looking at this model from the tail cam angle in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Awesome. Okay, before I take this model off the stand, complete and wrap up this model review, I got this model in a, in this position at this angle for a reason. And the reason is, is the gears. I'm going to start with the nose gears. Take these off here first. They're detachable. They're not retractable. Same right here. There. And the gears on the starboard side. There, okay? So, since I got all the gears off here, I'm going to let you see this model at a different angle without the gears. Check it out. Okay, now uh, you're seeing this model being displayed without the gears in in flight position and in flight mode. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your mouse from this point on. Now you want to continue to display it in flight mode without the gears. That's fine. This little these little gear replacements inside here, this plastic bag. That's the purpose of these gear replacements is to substitute your gears while you display your model in flight mode. Or you can keep it in the uh, takeoff landing position, the gear down position, gears up, gears down. It don't matter. That's your choice. I choose to leave the landing gears on mine because they have more value to the model. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model to stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model with you. All right? All right, let's talk about the seat configuration on this aircraft. The Condor Airlines Boeing 757-300 Jetliner seats 275 passengers and a two-class configurate cabin layout. Here's the breakdown, everyone, from rows 1 to 7, which will be from here to about right here. You have 26 premium economy class seats in rows 8 to 49, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 249 economy class seats, which brings a total of 275 seats. And finally, Condor Airlines currently utilizes this aircraft, the Boeing 757-300 Jetliner, on routes from Frankfurt to Rodas, Valencia, Gran Canera, La Palma, Lanzarote, Tenerife South, Palma, D. Mount Orca, and from Leipzig to Dubai Al Maktoum, from Hanover to Dubai Al Maktoum, from Cologne to Al Dubai Al Maktoum, from Stuttgart to Dubai Al Maktoum, from Munich to Dubai Al Maktoum, for Adventure Tour, Funchal, Gran Canaria, Hergada, La Palma. Lanzarote, Mombasa, and Palma de Mount Orca from Dusseldorf to Fort Ventura, Gran Canaria to uh, Hergada, Lanzarote, Tenerife South, and Palma de Mount Orca, and from Hamburg to Altalia, for E. Ventura, Funchal, Gran Canaria, Orgata, Lazarote, Tenerife South, Tenerife, Horror Klein, uh, Jerez de la Interior, La Palma, and Palma de Mount Orca. Those are the routes, everyone. Well, this will conclude this uh, model review. 
I like to know if you got this mile or you plan on getting this mile if you can find it. Cause I heard this mug is becoming this mile is becoming very scarce and hard to find as we speak. And I like to know your comments and suggestions. So with that being said, please rate, subscribe, and take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.